Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Good morning, everyone. I'm excited to be here with you today. My name is Ashley Danielson. I am the Nutrition Coordination Director for the Nutrition Aging Resource Center, and I'm going to be with you for the next 30 minutes or so to give you more of a breakdown on Instructional Canvas on Aging Nutrition, or ICANN, and just tell you about all of the hard work that our Resource Center has put together on this the past couple of years. The Nutrition Aging Resource Center recognizes services are not one size fits all. Therefore, we celebrate the diversity of the older adult population by respecting the needs for those various life experiences. If you haven't heard more about the Nutrition Aging Resource Center, the goal of the Resource Center is to support the National Aging Network, former and future innovations and nutrition grantees and other Older Americans Act stakeholder organizations, and the development and expansion of nutrition programs in their states and communities. This is done by providing resources to the Aging Nutrition Network on the Nutrition Aging Resource Center website, acl.gov backslash senior hyphen nutrition. And I will actually go ahead and put that in the chat for you right now, just so you can have that at your fingertips. So the resources that we provide are really to help state units on aging, area agencies on aging, and local service providers to develop impactful, cost-effective, and person-centered services that align with the purposes of the OAA Title III C. We are on the majority of all social media channels, so please follow and engage with us at AG Nutrition, or you can scan the QR code to take you to that information as well. And we encourage you to sign up for our newsletter to make sure that you never miss a new resource or connection opportunity. Okay, so this gives you a little bit of a breakdown on the Resource Center and what this looks like. Um, so we have our overall team, but we're kind of broken up into a couple of separate teams. So overall, we have our navigation and supportive services. Um, and on the left, you can see we kind of merge into our Iowa Department of Health and Human Services specifically the Division of Aging and Disability Services. Um, and this team is um, pr a pretty full team of registered dietitians, which is exciting because we can bring a lot of our expertise from our previous background. And then we also have you know, administrative work, communications, marketing, where we kind of all merge together as a team. You can also see here that on the right, we have our Iowa State University research team. So along with our director, we have our two PhD students, another dietitian, conference and planning management. Um, and then we also work with another dietitian consulting company. So we have a lot of resources that we're really able to pull all together to create the content. So where did we start when we talk about instructional campus on aging nutrition? How does this all begin. Um, and I wanted to go over that organizational chart before I talked about this because it really pertains to all of us who understand um, the complex piece of putting all this information together. But when we started, we realized that there was really a need to develop some sort of a training. And sometimes states already provide and develop trainings for, um, you know, local service providers within their area. But how could we provide something that really spoke to all current and or new staff and volunteers to give them information about the Older Americans Act, how to bring more people to the table, um, food safety basics, just general um, information on older adults. And, and what does that look like? And how do we kind of develop all of that information in one? Um, so we have our Nutrition Aging Resource Center. So again, Health and Human Services, uh, we have our Iowa State research team, that consultant team, and we were really able to sit down and kind of develop the information that we wanted to provide, um, the modules, the supplemental materials, the testing, and, and really what that looked like um, to start off and where we wanted it to end. And we not only have the Nutrition Aging Resource Center team, we also had additional Iowa State teams. So we have our Iowa State Online team that really created the modules um, in the program itself. We have our Iowa State University Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, and they put together the media production, the filming, the photos, all of that information. Um, we have a third party that uh, creates our voiceovers. And then we also had our alpha testing and our beta testing group. So our alpha testing group was more of health and human services internal teams and our beta testing was more 
focused on our statements on aging and our innovative grantees. So you can see that it's not only one team, it takes many, many people to put this together. And I think we will all say that we did not realize how much work it takes to do all of this um, and make it a very seamless product. So again, it kind of that time frame of sitting down and developing that took a long time. And then when we were able to kind of get off and running, you still have those times where you sit down and you say, okay, maybe this isn't working, this is working and continue to move forward. And really the goal with the development of ICANN was to provide that tangible information and steps that people can take after they take those modules. We want something that's interactive and fun. So a lot of the trainings that you, know, you go through aren't super exciting all the time. So how do we make it exciting for people to walk away and continue to learn more, dive into those prog programs and learn the basic knowledge if they aren't familiar with the information being provided? Maybe it's igniting or reigniting your passion for the health and well-being of older adults. And I was kind of coming back to, you know, instructional campus on aging nutrition or I can, I can do this, right? I can get into this information and learn more so I can reignite my passion or help others learn more to serve older adults. And our modules and the information that we provided really came from our needs assessment that we sent out in 2022. Um, and the results that we have, this is just kind of a snapshot of it. I'll put the, the link for the full needs assessment report. It's on our website and I'll put it in the chat here for you. The results that we found from our needs assessment, really we focused on the high interest and the low familiarity pieces. So you can see there's a lot of topics here, but what we found was, you know, partnerships with healthcare, funding, marketing, diversifying funding and menu planning. Those were some big ones that we could focus on. But then the barriers that people found were the time that it takes to go through those trainings, the cost of it and getting this somewhere to actually take the training as the barrier. And so we wanted to be able to take all those barriers out. So the time is nice and I'll talk about this in a little bit, but you have shorter modules, you can go at your own pace, I can is free and you can take it from anywhere, which is really, really nice. So I can really is focused on Older Americans Act Nutrition Services staff. But if you expand it, it really could be directed towards, you know, staff, volunteers, state units on aging, area, agency and area agencies on aging, local service providers, innovative grantees and the projects that they create, registered dietitians, many people within the aging network. Um, the course objectives that we created for the participants to be able to walk away and say that they were able to learn all of this was really to identify their role in the AG network, to implement strategies from those modules that they walked through, to figure out those partnerships in their community, maybe how to improve their current partnerships and um, create new partnerships, and then know where to find the know where to find the information that they need. The modules that we provide through ICANN are broken down into sections. So no longer than 10 to 15 minutes each. So some have one section, some have three sections. But I mentioned this a little bit ago, you go at your own pace. There are videos, there are knowledge check quizzes at the end um, and supplemental resources that you can download. Those knowledge checks at the end are there for you. So you have information in your tool belt and you can serve older adults and communities in the best way possible. Additionally, after each module, there is a certificate of completion um, that is given to you after an, an anonymous survey is completed. And then we also offer 30 minute interviews three to six months after the course is completed. And we really do that so we can gather more in depth information and feedback from you so that we know if we need to really change some things in the future. So I got this number a couple of weeks ago when I was planning out this webinar, but at that point in time, we had about 425 students and students are participants with ICANN. Um, our goal is to get to 600 by April 1st of 2025. And we have that date because April is when we launched ICANN in 2023. So this is really focused on 
kind of bringing it all together because we've had ICANN be available to people for a year now and really making sure that we share it within the aging network. Our current students, most of them are in the aging field and many of them serve in the rural populations. Um, when we talk about those goals of getting more people involved, you know, we continue to share this webinar and this information with everyone possible during other webinars, during conferences and newsletters, but we would love if you can, of course, also share it with your peers. Um, the feedback that we've gotten from the interviews, and these are just preliminary findings, but they're very positive, is that the ICANN courses are engaging, um, they're valuable to users' work, they've been able to increase new and strengthened knowledge that maybe they had prior to that they needed to just kind of review through these engaging and interactive features, and that um, ICANN is useful for training others. Here's some really great quotes that we were able to pull from the semi-structured interviews. Mostly the biggest value it has for me is for training my grantees, which are local service providers in this person's case. I find that it's very helpful that it's videos, so it's easily digestible. It's in shorter segments. It's very clearly and simply communicated. I wish I had seen this training when I first started. What's really helping me is seeing specific case studies of senior centers and how they've managed to change their nutrition programs. And I looked upon the information and utilized it during discussions and conversations with my colleagues, as well as community members. Here are some other results that we've gotten from our participants just in the learning aspect. 91% have been able to immediately use what they've learned. 93% are saying that the information is valuable to implement. 86% gained new knowledge. 91% of our participants are able to strengthen their prior knowledge. 93% said that the videos and activities aided in learning. 93% committed to applying what they've learned to their work. And 85% said that they have confidence in the ability to apply what they have learned to their work which is great. Again, that's kind of what we're going towards is we want you to be able to walk away with new knowledge or maybe reinvigorate that prior knowledge so you can, can continue to do your job. So let's dive in to what this looks like with ICANN. First of all, I am going to copy and paste the website for ICANN into the chat for you. And then I'm also going to switch the screen that I'm sharing. And we're going to go to the actual um, Nutrition Aging Resource Center website here. So um, this is our main website. And if you've been able to visit our website before, that's great. If you haven't, then welcome. We have many resources for you. This just gives you some information of what we provide um, high level. We have our browse resources, so many, many different resources. We have the Older Americans Act and Requirements, Nutrition Innovations, and Instructional Campus on Aging Nutrition. So four big tiles on the main website. We also have them up here that you can access. So if you want to go to ICANN, you can go either up here or you can click on Instructional Campus, and it will take you to the same place. This is a video I didn't play it on the webinar because it's really a great marketing video for somebody that doesn't know anything about ICANN. Um, this gives you a breakdown of what ICANN is if you're visiting for the first time. And then this is really kind of how you can participate, how you can enroll and the module. So you can see that each one has a title, gives you a really brief um, summary of what that module looks like. But we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. And I should be able to log in automatically. So I'm in here quite often. So I'm going to go through just a couple uh, pages of what this looks like as um, a module. And so you have an idea as to what you would be opening up when you sign up. So this is just really that kind of that home welcome page. There's information on ICANN in a short video. Um, there's a training overview and then all of the avail available modules for you. 
There's also an actual module page and it tells you, you know, to start here, which is what we just looked at. But this is goes over the technology requirements that you need. So, you know, if you're having issues, uh, maybe some things to look at. Some tech tips for you. So playing media, the NVIDIA knowledge check questions, how to answer those, and some of the interactive activities and kind of what that looks like, how to zoom in, how to zoom out. We also have a help section, and this is really dedicated to Canvas, so which is the learning platform that ICANN is on. So that connects you with them. And then this great acronym cheat sheet, which is nice, um, especially for somebody that's just starting within the Asian network or not very familiar with these acronyms. These are acronyms that are used throughout some of the modules. And so it gives you information on that. So just to walk through again, what the content looks like, you can see that it's pretty consistent. You have the actual information, the survey, the certificate of completion, and the sources, the supplemental resources. So I'm just gonna pop into module three here. So it gives you some more information. So this is on partnerships. And um, we'll show you what the module looks like overall. So it's always gonna have the title and the objectives at the top for you. And it's also going to tell you the length of the videos. And this is where I mentioned that some modules have one part, some have three, but it does tell you ahead of time. So it's nice if you say, okay, I have an hour to do one of these trainings. I can tackle this module and maybe even start a new one, but it gives you a heads up. Um, so you're going to go ahead and play it and it's through YouTube. So you just click play on here. Um, there's also a transcript if you need it that opens up and um, you can download it if you need to, or you can view it on the next screen. And then if there's another part, you just flip over to that second part and same with the third. So I'm gonna go back here. There's also, I mentioned the evaluation survey at the end of the modules, give it a second to pop up here. So this gives, gives you information on the Nutrition Aging Resource Center team and really what we're looking for with evaluation, asks you to answer some questions. So we you know, went through module three, let's say we've completed some other modules within the last couple of months. And so it's gonna walk through um, some of your information and you know why you took the module, what you learned from it, that sort of a thing. So if you could fill that out, we would very much appreciate it again for your, your piece and our feedback as well that we're looking for. The certificate of completion is really easy to fill out. Um, you just put your full name, email address and today's date and it should be emailed to you rather quickly, um, if not right away within 24 hours. And then we also have these amazing sources and supplemental resources, which I just really love. Um, the sources, again, are really being provided from the actual module itself. And then the supplemental resources are great because they're being referenced within the module, but all of these you can download to take away with you, which is great. So um, one that I really like to look at is, um, let's see, here is a how-to guide on partnering with grocery stores. So how a senior nutrition program could create a successful grocery store partnerships. So you can see that this pops up. This is something that we've created as the Nutrition Aging Resource Center. And it walks through, you know, why should we partner? What are part potential partnership opportunities? Where do we start? How do we find more information? I really love these sources and supplemental materials because you're already getting a lot of information from ICANN itself, and then you're getting these resources as well. Um, another one that I think is really great is, okay, so we have this module eight, business management, and it focuses on personnel management. So we're talking about interviewing, um, we're talking about the supplemental resources of business skills, conflict resolution tips, 
Um, these sample job descriptions, which are great. Let's say you want to hire a nutrition site manager and you need a, a template of a job description. Um, this is something that you can actually change on your end. So once you download it, you can edit it. And you can, you know, put your organization in there. You can put when the person needs to work, um, the location, things like that. But it gives you those overall duties and responsibilities. And of course, you can add to it. But this is a perfect opportunity for you to um, get some help in creating something that maybe you don't have on hand or maybe to improve a document with you, that you have. So again, all of them are very consistent as to what they look like and what they offer you can go through all of those 10 modules at your own pace, and you'll get those certificate of completions after filling each one out after you've finished a module. Okay, so that's a breakdown of the actual um, website of ICANN itself. So I'm gonna go back to sharing the PowerPoint. Okay. So we were able to dive in and look at ICANN. And so let's talk about how the Nutrition and Aging Resource Center can make this really easy for you. How you can bring ICANN um, in front of a lot more people. First of all is to integrate the modules into your training program. So how can you create something that is standardized with new employees, current employees and volunteers and communicate? So they're able to kind of communicate that increase of knowledge, but you have a way of communicating that, but they will be able to learn from all of this information and they also get a certificate of completion. Maybe you make it a goal for your organization for X amount of employees to finish this and complete it by the end of 2024. Maybe you host a lunch and learn. So you provide a lunch um, or people bring their own lunch, whatever works best for you. And you have employees and volunteers complete some of modules during that time. Maybe you share with stakeholders. So you could have a meeting with stakeholders where they can all get engaged and share with their own teams. And you know you can share this webinar with them. You can provide the resources and the links so then they can go out and connect with others. Uh, team meetings, again, kind of similar to your training programs, but let's say you have a team meeting and you want your you know, directors or managers to take it first before employees, staff, volunteers. And so, how do you kind of provide that tiered structure of people completing it um, so you can show that everybody else is doing this? Um, monthly AAA meetings, a lot of AAAs have meetings every month or maybe it's every other month, but this is a great way to share this and encourage others to complete it. And then something that we can do for you additionally is um, if you request for the Resource Center to actually visit you, we can go over um, I can as well. So I am going to put in the link for um, a request to present to you. This is on the About Us page. But we actually have a form that you can fill out and I'll just put it in the chat here for you. On that page as well, this is the actual form. So I should give you the page uh, that's just the About Us. And it gives you some examples as to what we provide for presentations. But um, we can visit sites to share more information about the Resource Center and what we can provide to you. And of course, ICANN would be part of that. So we love to share the work that we do. And so if you have a request for this, please submit it and we will help you out as much as we can. Okay, so lastly, and the best part is that ICANN is free, and I've mentioned this before, but it's a really big benefit to this program, and we want you to be able to provide this to anyone and everyone, since it's not a barrier to training. So um, you can, again, find us at this website, you can scan the QR code to register, but please, if you can involve people as much as possible, that would be fantastic. And we are happy to answer any other questions for you as well on ICANN or how we can support you. Okay, so just some time for questions here. I have one person that's asking, 
um, when this will be available. So we will send out the webinar that is available um, as soon as we kind of get through this and we'll um, send it out to you along with the resources that were provided um, within the webinar. Okay, here's another question. So the Nutrition Aging Resource Center to answer this is they're asking what other types of resources do we provide? So if you're able, <clears throat> excuse me, to visit our website under those browse resources, we have a huge amount of topics, but all of them cover things from business management to emergencies and disasters, um, food insecurity, home delivered meals, nutrition education. So really a, a vast array of resources. And so I really encourage you to hop onto our website and just kind of dive in from there. Okay, so I don't see any other questions that are coming through. Oh, I do see another comment. Oh, yes. Okay, so this person is just saying, this is great material to share. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this back to my team. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and that's, again, really the goal is we're hoping to um, just educate you more on what ICANN is and how you can take it back to your team, your organization, and share it more within the AG Network. Okay, it looks like that's all that we have. So I kept it to 30 minutes as much as we could. Thank you again all so much for joining this morning and we'll make sure to recap this and send it out to everybody that registered so you have those resources. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to email the resource center team and we're happy to help you out in every way. Have a great day.